more videos like this please subscribe i'm just gonna give you guys some uh information of what's been going on beyond the scenes that you guys may not aware of which some guys may you know know already now this is it um tristar's trucking is fully launched now we are out you know what i mean um and when, what i mean by that is i have my own authority now right also i went ahead and i signed on a couple of trucks already we are running from the load board you know what i mean we are moving loads here in canada you know what i mean back and forth we are not in the states as yet that's the reason why i'm still with landstar so even though i'm running my own company i'm still running with landstar and i'm gonna give you guys more details on that i can't give you guys everything in just one video but i'm still running with landstar but i, I have my own company i have my own authority i'm doing loads from load boards i'm working back and forth with brokers um dispatching team is working and volvina is still on the contract that it was on before so we are basically moving in the right direction you know what i mean but you know we have to we have to still we have to still do this thing like we are we, well not like we are still doing it because we are still learning and i'm not making a big move as yet i'm just taking my time i'm i'm not i'm in no rush I mean, no rush, guys. And when I mean by no rush, I know most of you guys have said, then why you have your own authority and yet still you're still running with Landstar? But like I said, I'm still learning. So I have to take my time. I'm not in any rush. I um, know you guys may say it. So you sign on trucks, but you are not with your company. How does that work? No, that's where um, the risk is now taken right and it's not much of a risk because everything is going good this is um oh i started i get my own authority what uh, when i said my own authority i did always have my own authority but i wasn't running under my company right i wasn't insured right but no um fully insured um trucks and trailers you know what i mean um taking my time like i said i'm gonna show you guys some clips and i also purchased a new truck well not necessarily a new truck but and this is it um even though i purchase a next truck i'm not going to reveal that truck as yet some guys already know it but some guys are still waiting to see what's going on but is more than one reason why i'm not going to reveal it yet but you guys stick around you will see everything that is coming up i'm just doing this very i'm taking my time i'm very cautious of what's going on at this point because i'm not doing this to fail i'm doing this to grow and not knowing what not well for me to do in for me for me to do this for the first time I want to make sure I'm doing I'm doing it right or I'm doing it safely, right? So that's what I'm doing doing right now. No, I know uh, you guys will understand this later down, and just for now I'm just gonna share some of the roadblocks that I find myself in while doing my own authority here in Canada, right? Now Canada is not set up like the U.S. In the U.S. you can basically get your own authority, get your own insurance, whatnot for a reasonable price for your insurance, you know what I mean? And you guys can, you know, have so much loads to choose, pick and choose from. While in Canada here, the loads are extremely cheap. You know what I mean? You have to go, you have to be going to the US to actually making some good, like return, like making some good deals. Or you have to have links or you have to have contact with direct shippers to get the, the price that you should get because as soon as these loads go into the Canadian brokers and they are no longer at the rate that it's supposed to be like it cutting off or three quarter you're just getting just just whatever it, whatever they, they think can get you gas because you're not you're not, you're not you're not even getting paid you're getting fuel just to go because you know based on the distance and based on how much 
how many how much they are paying for the loads it's extremely cheap so it's not is so far and i may change my this thought later but so far it's not the best thing to do or a wise thing to do to go on your own authority here in canada it is very risky and i'm seeing it first and this is not someone telling me i'm seeing it i'm experiencing it um is one set of people actually ha have the market now and those set of people is, is are are keeping it among themselves if you if you for any reason get a part in it is just because they may not be available at that time when you were there right so you know what i mean it, it is in one circle and it's barely sharing if it if it does share it's because like i said you are in the here or you are close by and the load need to move now that's when you will get it at a good rate but other than that they're keeping it for themselves right now changes are there and ways to get around it is because landstar load board is not really a canadian load board is more america coming to canada or canada going to america so landstar load board is not that type of load board like i'm trying to explain to you guys about what's going on here in canada landstar load board is a bit different i'm checking out some other load boards now to see what can be the, the the best um deal for us here in canada to see what can make sense so the challenge is when you're own operator you are limited to what you can actually get some some give you percentage some give you miles percentage is like some <sighs> I don't know how to explain it, but you will get the percentage. When you just start, everything will be flowing good. And as soon as you settle in, the rates are just fuel and whatever come after that. You know what I mean? So it's very challenging. You know what I mean? As soon as you say to yourself, you know what, this own operator thing not working out, I'm going to go get my own authority and go on the load board and do my own thing. Now you have the brokers to challenge. So it's like, you're running from one, but you get into one, and when you get into the next one, it's like it's the same set of people that is running the one that you you were, you were getting out of is on the load board doing the same thing. So you're not really escaping; you're just moving from one shark to the next. You know what I mean? So now you you have to try a way now how to get around the sharks and try to you know go into the 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 the, 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 the sea itself to catch you know better fish i don't know how to say it, but like i'm saying it is challenging and you have to be very smart to get through right now like i said getting direct shippers is the best thing and what i mean by direct shippers is the is the shippers that the broker would link to get the load to put on the load board you would get away from the brokers and directly to the shipper then you will get a different rate a better rate a rate that can run you run your truck and you can survive from it as soon as you get into the brokers and come to you then there's no more survival survival you have to find other ways you know what i mean but like i said you will you will get away with some loads but it is not something that you should put everything in to go in no this come back down to better off being a company driver here in Canada when you really look at it right not saying I'm telling anyone to not to pursue on whatever you want to go and do but just to be aware of what's going on out here as soon as you step out as soon as you step out the challenges is here and you have to be strong you have to know what you're doing you have to have funds you have to can maintain everything that's going on you, you 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 have to know know this first hand before you get in it's not that easy now like i said america is different i have friends over there and i i'm, I'm following some youtube people that is doing their own thing over in the us and they're doing good you know what i mean um to get through with like uh um let's say going your own authority here in canada you have to go like maybe every all in but it's not direct it's not only in canada you have to do it 
states I'm back. So for more videos like this, please my company, no, I'm not currently, I'm not running, I'm, I'm not insured for the states, right? I, I don't have my DOT number as yet. I just have my authority here to run in Canada only, not for the US, because like I said, this is just me trying out to see what is like, how things are going and how to move forward. I'm not going to go in all in and then in a spot where I can move. So I'm, this is my way of playing it smart. I've been doing this over the past. I see where it worked for me. So I continue to do it because I will get through this. Y you guys know I will get through this. Now, next, next thing we're moving on to. Just talk about it. Authority. Now we're talking about trucks, right? Now, yeah, I mentioned that I sign on, said, let's say three trucks because I'm in the process of getting another truck in. And we are running, we, we, we have uh, maybe one or two uh, direct uh, shipper already. You know what I mean? We're taking our time. We are doing what we are doing. We are doing some poor only too. You know what I mean? We are on the load board, like I said, still, but we're still seeing where the challenges are and we are working through it, right? And me being at Landstar, like I said, I will talk to you guys about that in the next video, but it makes sense being at Landstar still. You know what I mean? Uh, the next thing I want to talk about is I went ahead and I did some service on both trucks. I did some service on the Mack truck, and I also went ahead and did some service on the Volvo truck. Um, I, you know, winter is coming. Winter is right around the corner. So you guys know you, you got to do your prevent, preventive maintenance towards the Mack truck. You know what I mean? And what I mean by that is I'm doing some work on the trucks that I'm not waiting for that time to come. You know what I mean? So for example, the Mack truck, you guys been here for a while. I have a video on my channel which I show an arch start problem with the Mack truck and with the Volvo truck. And for that reason, what I did was went ahead and do a preventive maintenance towards the Mack truck injectors. And what I did, no, what I did with that truck is change the injector caps from now no why i did that i did that because i got first of all i got um uh, I have a friend of mine own a mac truck also his name is scott he's a own operator there in nova scotia good friend of mine and um basically he called me up and he was mentioning you know what and what to expect with the back truck because you know i have a volvo truck and he had a mac truck and he was telling me some of the stuff that he did. And then he went ahead and tell me something about the injector cups that mainly go on the D13 engine. And right away, it all makes sense. And I said it to my mechanic. And my mechanic said, that's a good move. And what we have done was, normally, after 600 or after 800 miles, 800,000 miles, well, not really 800, but after 500,000, somewhere like that coming up with the Volvo truck going to the Mac, the same engine, right? The injectors, normally you would need to change all six injectors because sooner or later they're going to leak and they're going to give you this hard starting problem, which you have to now change all six injectors to, to prevent yourself from you know, being there and not starting. I have a video on my channel, like I said, which you can see how to get started if you have that hard starting problem with your Volvo or your Mack truck, right? No, preventing, that's where I'm at. What I did was I changed all six injector caps. It is just all here on my phone. So let me tell you guys what I've changed so far. And I have changed these, but the truck wasn't giving any issue of starting right it wasn't i have no issue of fuel running back i have no issue of injector going out but like i said this is preventive maintenance right so what i've changed i've changed six 
injectors, injector cups, and injector O-rings. So it's the six injector cups and the injector O-rings. And went ahead and did the, the valve adjustment at the same time. So it's the same thing. Normally, Volvo will tell you guys to do the valve adjustment every 200,000 miles on the truck you should do a valve adjustment right um and you know you can do that two times before the injector cups may start leaking because it's a it's an issue in from the 2003 i think they are, they have changed that injector um, cup problem in 2019 someone correct me if i'm if, if i'm not lying in 2019 trucks i think that, that injector problem as solved uh i don't hear anything any feedback from anyone that own that type of here truck let me know if they have injector problems still but in the 2013 14 15 16 um 17 and i think some part of 18 yeah have the injector will go out like that art star thing so the injector will be, the injector cups will be leaking so to prevent it from paying or to prevent yourself from paying that six thousand seven hundred almost seven thousand dollars to uh change all six injectors and cups and parts and labor i went ahead and i changed the injector cups only and the injector o-rings only so i take out the one that was there and put in new ones and that only cost me a thousand one thousand one hundred and fifty dollars all in labor adjustment and everything so i prevent myself from paying seven um six thousand dollars to just just to run it off so i use thousand dollars to escape from six thousand now is this gonna work stick around you guys will know because i will definitely go ahead and tell you but that's what i did so um paying like a thousand dollars to do all that to try to escape six thousand dollars is the ideal thing because what really happened or what i was told is the injector cups get loose because you know the injectors are working right so the injector cups will get loose damage the injector itself itself right so that's when you have to go ahead and change all six injectors with the cups because the cups are the problem wasn't the injectors right get that wasn't the injector so the cups used to damage the injectors and that's why you have to change everything as soon as they start going bad. So what I've done is put in new injector, new injector cups and re-talk. So this is a little bit of mechanical. Uh, maybe if you guys know or not know, I'm just telling you. No, the injector cups, when you go in the head right there where the injector cups should seat it, it's at the torque. It's a special tool to get it in. I have to torque it, like tighten it to a stage. Now, enough other people had said you can re the cups that is already there, but that's not so. If those cups remove, you have to replace new ones. So you just put new ones in, re them, and put your same injector back in there because it will see it perfectly because nothing is not wrong with them. So you just change the cups only. So that's what I did, and the the truck was, was already running fine but like i said i'm trying to avoid that seven thousand dollars so i used one thousand dollars to avoid it so i'm saving six so let's see if it worked so that's what i did i've done um i also went ahead and i service the mac truck you know what i mean and of course you guys know i use amsoil in my trucks right and i went ahead and i serviced the volvo truck and i used the the four time protection um, arms oil, which that would be cheaper than the six time protection, right? But um, I think I'm leading to use the four time protection. Um, not necessarily that the six is not good, but I see that the, the, the four time protection work very well also. And you can feel the difference is that when you put the oil in the truck, you can actually, the, the engine give you, it's a different sound from the engine, right? And you know, this 100% oil, 100% synthetic oil is very good for the winter. So you know, in Canada, it's very cold. 
So you have to make sure you change your fuel filter, make sure you service your truck, make sure you have no issue when this winter starts. So I'm all ready. Now, I have some videos that I already done. I haven't finished the edit up as yet. So I want you guys to stick around. Don't go anywhere. Make sure you subscribe if you're not already. And thanks for tuning in to your boy TriStars Trucking. So you guys will see everything that is going on. I have some footage. I have some road footage that my one of my subscribers been asking me. Just one person been asking me about road footage. You want to see more road. I understand that um, he's there in Jamaica. And you know he wants to see what's going on here in Canada at the moment. And so I have a video that I'm going to put together with some roads that our video on my dash cam which i'm just gonna put it all together not gonna do any talking in it i'm just gonna release that video just for that one person you request the video i'm, gonna, I'm just gonna do it you know it may gonna be maybe a bit long not really long long but that's gonna show some in town footage like when i'm passing through some town or maybe and you know in the country area or in a snow whatever i'm just gonna put all those videos together release it no background track just you're just gonna be strictly no no editing like strictly what you see what you hear is what you get what is happening at the moment i'm just gonna release that just for that one subscriber okay you've been asking me for a road footage so i'm just gonna do that also um i have a road trip regular road trip coming up that most of you guys are waiting for that is coming out i have my winter video is coming up that was requested for my friend rasta trucker there in bermuda uh requested that video it's coming up and also there's another person that requests a video about how the family life and trucking goes because he's thinking about getting into it that video coming up and also there's another subscriber that linked me up in montreal says from 80 and he's planning to buy his but his truck and you want some information i'm doing a video on that for you because your truck is a five ton truck not not really a tractor trailer he's going for a smaller truck which you know um the smaller trucks can work especially with what's going on now most people are not taking a full load because you know you can't really open for too long so the small trucks are their time to shine now so nevertheless that's a good move and I will answer your your message, and I saw it. You know what I mean? I'm just I'm just telling you guys. I'm, I see everything, but yeah, um, I did change my tires on the Mack truck. You guys already see that. I used the L cap from Landstar. Get some brand new tires for my steer. You know, it's winter coming up. You have to be prepared. That's the best thing. That's the best way to go, so that everything can you know it can be a top of your game now thanks for tuning like i said i should have gone already but you know i like talking to you guys but nevertheless put your request in on what type of video you want to see i have videos coming out but nevertheless i will write down yours and make sure you look into it for the future so thanks for tuning you know it's a boy choice nice trucking Joy Stars Trucking Corporation. Yeah. Looking good. I think it's done now, you know? Yeah. For more videos like this, please subscribe.